Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus with me, Alex Fu. And, well, start off as we usually do. We just beat the seventh Colossus, the Sea Serpent. Which means that this video might be the first one that we don't take care of a Colossus in a single video. Because our next Colossi, if he'll show us, I guess he's not going to show us this time. Um, our next Colossi, by next followers, a tale trapped within a pale deep forest, within a deep, within a pale deep within the forest. This guy is kind of an iguana. This guy takes a while. So this might be the first guy that, like I said, we have to break this up into two parts. But that's okay. I'll try to upload them soon apart, so. And we're almost to the point where I have no idea where what I'm doing anymore. So that'll be fun, right? That'll be fun! That'll be loads of fun. Because then you guys will get me get me just wandering around with one Colossus for half an hour not knowing what I do what I'm doing like looking like this guy riding his horse just bouncing up and down but yeah this guy is sort of straightforward go the same way as the first Colossus well as if we were going to the first Colossus and I don't know it's pretty cool I've been looking up stuff and apparently you can go back to the places where the Colossi are and you can find their remains and fight him again. And apparently, you can get stuff from these trees, too. Since this is going to be a long episode, why not? So apparently, you can shoot down these fruit and go and eat them. And I didn't know that. I didn't know about that. And, yeah, apparently it'll slightly increase your health for those fruit. And I don't know if this was one of the things that I cut out, but a while back I tried shooting one of those lizards because I'm like, oh, what are these lizards for? They're like the only living thing here besides those birds. Aggro. Apona. Where'd you go? Where the hell did you go? Okay, that's really weird. Uh, our horse just completely disappeared. Oh, there. There she is. He is. Whatever. That was weird. But anyway. Just keep going this way. And I think... I, I'm gonna try to find one of those lizards so I can show you what that's supposed to do, too. Just because... Again, this is gonna be a long episode, so why not? Uh... Things to talk about. Things to talk about. Things to talk about. So I don't really have many things to talk about. I mean, I guess I could keep talking about how... <gasps> oh, Puella Magi Magica Magica. I said it right again. It is such a good anime. Um, well, because I do think it's a good anime, but... I could keep talking about how we're going to be doing a panel on it for Otakon. Might be doing a panel for it. This is the right... Okay, good, I'm going the right way. Because I can... Ah, there we go. There's a lizard. Like I said before, I get lost a lot in these canyons because they all look the same. Like, my friend gets lost in the forest. Screw the forest, that's easy, just jump. Lizard, lizard, lizard. Although, apparently you're supposed to go for the white ones, I guess. I don't know. Come on, come on. I can't even hit this guy. Oh, whatever. We tried, right? And that's all that matters. Oh, man, I love this valley. Like, I never actually stopped to look at it before, but I love this. 
It just looks so serene. Oh man. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, 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 just romanticizing about how this looks. Like, I'm being a Yates about this place. Because it's so much nicer than the rest of the entire hidden valley or whatever you call it. Because the rest of it is like, oh, we got rocks, we got sand, we got dead trees, and this is like, oh, we, we got a lot of, we got a nice little valley, a little valley of repose, except not snow covered, but <laughs> it's nice. I'm just going to walk in, why not? We're pretty much here anyway. And I hate tra traversing these s narrow gaps with Epona because she's a bitch to ride. Ooh, I made a joke. Not really. She is a bitch to ride. Because <laughs> you hit an edge and she's like, ah, I can't go anywhere. And then she backs up and she hits another edge and she's like, ah, I can't go anywhere. And you're spending like 30 seconds just trying to get her to move from one place. Oh, well, yeah. whatever. Like, look at this. This is really nice. I wish we weren't here to kill something. <laughs> Can I just walk around, or...? <sighs> Maybe, a little. Ooh, I might be able to just walk around. Huh. Yay, none of that slow-ass swimming. Well, a little bit of it, but whatever. Oh, no, not even. It's not deep enough. Yay! And... See, I keep looking at that rock, because it's highlighted a little differently, and I'm like, is something there? But no, there couldn't be anything there, because how am I going to get up there? It's not like the bird colossus is around here or something. It's not like anything can walk up these walls. Why am I calling you Pona? Alright, and now we get to see... See, I wish you could look at this... Wait, what? Oh, that's right. We actually have to do some platforming before going right to the beast. And we have to do my favorite part. Oh. We have to do my favorite part of platforming in this game. Jumping from one ledge to another. And hooray, I didn't royally fail this time. But, oh well. Whoops. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are we supposed to do here? Okay, I'm guessing we're go, we go across, or... Yeah, there's no way to go this way, so... I didn't know if I had to go back up and find, like, a ledge to latch onto or whatnot and climb across that way, so... Oh well. Another another minute wasted. Big deal. Now, I wish there was... well... in a second, I'll tell you. Because we get to see our colossi! It's a giant salamander dillo thing. <laughs> and this guy's gonna be a bitch. But he's not as big a bitch as another one. I wish we could just stand on top and look down. I don't know. And of course, we actually have to just go downstairs before we can do anything. Oh, apparently another thing I learned by actually looking up some of this crap on the web. Um, you can apparently get some of the Colossi's attention by just whistling. Like that. So now he's going to come up and try to get us, but we want to go down a couple more levels. Because what we want is to be able to get back down to ground level pretty quickly. And this is going to run over, so I'm just going to cut it somewhere appropriate. Okay. 
Sorry guys, this is gonna be a little sniffling. I'm still a little bit snick. No, oh, a little bit snick. <laughs> a little bit snick. It's what? What was that? Snick. Snick. That Nick was like Nick at night for teenagers, right? Or Saturday Night Nick. <laughs> what are you even doing? Get over here. I wanna shoot ya. Go head off. Oh shoot. Oh, so yeah, we are introduced to a new mechanic here. Um, shooting these bolts of lightning. Very, very frightening. Me. Galileo. 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 Figaro. Magnifico. Anyway. Um, yes, he will shoot these bolts of. I don't even know what to call them. They're kind of like the light arrows from Legend of Zelda. Except, instead of killing you outright, because we're not an evil presence, they will pretty much create a cloud of toxic dust that you do not want to get caught in. How the hell did you get above us like that? I can't even see you because of that fog particle effect. God, will you stop using smoke bombs? That lags the server so much. Oh, uh, that was my favorite part about playing Call of Duty, right guys? The way people would just throw smoke grenades all the time and expect that it would do something besides lag the server. Although we used to do that all the time when we sneak off in gym. Because the gym teacher didn't really care what we did, so we just said, we, Oh, we're gonna go to CAD in my high school. So we went to CAD. I didn't give a shit about Jim. Half the time. Well, no, not during the winter when it was all inside stuff. So we, we'd go off to CAD and they'd have Call of Duty 2 set up on the server there. And we'd just play it and everybody would use sm freaking smoke grenades. I just wanted to be the Russians guy. Ru I just wanted to be the Russians man. <laughs> I don't even know. It was fun times though. I got an A in gym, so what do, I, what do I care? I mean, it's not like I was losing out physically, I was going to karate at the time. Tang Zudo. I wish I could still keep going to that, but... Not until I graduate, I guess, because... Well, it's just hard to do that and go to school at the same time. Oh shoot, we had to fall, didn't we? I can't even... We've already been fighting this guy for like four minutes and I have yet to get a hit on him. Oh! Oh! Thank you very much! Finally coming up here, I see. Instead of being a bitch. Oh, that was cool. We kind of got a double whistle in there. It's kind of like double magic. My cold bow can shoot her cold her ice arrows so fast it's like she double hits. Alright, so what you have to do if I can hit this guy is you have to shoot Oh god damn it. You have to shoot his legs. You have to shoot at least two of them. And he will tumble like he's a dryer. <laughs> get out your sword, get out your sword. No, I want to jump I want to jump on his belly. You gotta be really quick with this guy because if you're not, you're not gonna get any stabs in. All right, run, 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 because otherwise he's gonna he's gonna flip and kill us. All right, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be shooting him twice, uh, jumping down, stabbing him, jumping away. <laughs> and well, guys, you get one stab in because I'm gonna end it here, and see you guys next time. On Let's Play. I almost said Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil. This is not Beyond Good and Evil. Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. What? 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 What are you doing? <laughs> but anyway, Shadow of the Colossus with me, Onsfo. See you next time, guys.